Hello everyone, I'm Alina. Today I will demonstrate the quick guide operation of Z-Sor software using SL7. I hope that this video will be useful for you. Before starting a measurement project, we need to create a new project first. Click on Project Info, then click New, and input project name and creator. Next, click Projection to set the coordinate system, and click User Defined to enter the Coordinate System Management interface. Click Predefined to choose the local coordinate system, where you can choose the coordinate system of the corresponding region and country. Here I take Sweden as an example. After selecting the coordinate system, click Apply, and then click OK and then the project is successfully created. After the project creation is completed, we will connect the receiver next. There are two methods to connect the receiver. The first one is to connect through the NFC function. The second method is to connect the receiver through the SatServe software. Click on a device, and you can choose to connect the receiver through Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Click Connect, find the corresponding receiver SN and connect it. Please note that when you choose to connect the instrument via Wi-Fi for the first time, you need to enter a password. The connection password is 12345678. Connect base receiver via NFC function. Click Base and you can choose internal UHF, internal GSM, external radio and data collector internet as data link. Here I choose internal UHF as an example for demonstration. If the base station is set at an unknown point, here you can choose set by average. When choosing set by point, it means that the base is set up on a control point. You need to input the point name, base station height, and NEZ or BLH coordinates of the control point. After entering the coordinates, you can modify other parameters according to your needs, including correction type, elevation mask, UHF protocol, UHF channel, etc. Click Set to complete the base station setting. After setting up the base station, we set up the rover station. First, use the controller to connect the rover. Select Internal UHF as the data link. It's important to ensure that the UHF protocol and UHF channel are consistent with the base. Click Set. When the instrument reaches a fixed solution and the fixed solution is stable, measurement work can be started. Click on Detail Survey to enter the survey interface. Before the measurement starts, we need to set the antenna height. Click the button in the upper right corner, and click Antenna. Enter the height value of the surveying rod, and click OK. After setting, go to the target position to collect points. Click the Collect icon, and then click OK. The first point has been collected successfully. You can move to the next position to continue collecting the next point. After the collection is completed, you can go to the point data to view the points just collected. Click Stake Point. Click the Point Selection icon. Click the Point Data icon in the upper right corner. Choose the Stake Point and click OK to start staking. If your RTK is equipped with image function, you can click on the AR icon on the left, turn on the camera, and find the stake point according to the real-time image position prompts. When the stakeout accuracy is reached, click the collect icon to complete the stakeout of the first point. Then click this icon to continue staking out the next point.
return to the project interface and click on data export you can choose between custom export and common export here i take custom export as an example to export the stakeout point data click on format here you can select the default export format or you can click create to create a new format you want to export set the point type suffix name export content etc After setting, click OK. Select the custom format and click OK. Click Export to export the data to the corresponding folder successfully. This all the content of the quick guide for the serve. See you in the next video.